Even if you're not a morning person, you can't help but love these guys. Where are your lucky charms? Right here, my friends. They're part of this good, nutritious breakfast. Welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 breakfast cereal mascots. It's going to be a long night. For this list, we've looked at mascots used in order to market breakfast cereals. However, we've excluded characters like Fred Flintstone, who were used to promote cereal only after becoming popular in their own right. Barney! Yes, that's a rip. Most fruity pebble cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast. Yeah, but that was delicious. Food mascots in general are a big business, so for more culinary characters, take a look at our top 10 food mascots list or our top 10 fast food mascots list. You got fun, fun, fun for everyone! Burger King, yay! Number 10. The California Raisins Post Raisin Brand. But for Post, only one kind of raisin is plump enough, sweet enough, big enough. It's the California Raisins. Those super big superstars from the San Joaquin Valley. For the Kellogg's version of this cereal, there's a happy, smiling sun there to inform us of the two scoops of raisins. Two keep them coming back for two scoops of plump, juicy raisins in Kellogg's Raisin Brand. But when Post is delivering their cereal with dried grapes, they go a little more off the wall. The only raisins big enough for the crispy flakes and Post. Post Raisin Bran with the California Raisins, cause big raisins make a big difference. The California Raisins were a food marketing masterstroke in the 1980s, and their sponsorship of cereal was a hit. The raisins could sing, dance, and make a comparatively plain breakfast choice appear to burst with life. Raisin the California sunshine! In short, they brought advertising brawn to the brand. Wish I'd sung that. Number 9. Count Chocula. Don't be scared. I'm the super sweet monster with the super sweet new cereal, Count Chocula. Sometimes the scary can keep you up at night, but this time the spooky gets you out of bed in the morning. Enjoy. I will. Count Chocula and Monster Mellows, good in a big way. Count Chocula has been vamping up our morning routine since 1971. Since 2010, however, he's largely been confined to his coffin until the Halloween period, as manufacturer General Mills switched to seasonal sales. Appropriately, Count Chocula will likely never die out completely, because there are too many fans of his marshmallowed fangs for that to happen. Satisfies a chocolate monster in no time flat. The monstrously good part of a complete breakfast. Number 8. Sugar Bear, Sugar Crisp and Golden Crisp. Hi out there. Don't bother adjusting your set. Only one thing will help. Sugar Crisp. Those brown sugar and honey coated puffs of wheat could straighten this set right out. While you're at it, you, you might, might just enjoy, enjoy both to yourself. yourself. He's sugary by name, he's super by nature. Mmm, mmm, my super golden crisp cereal really shakes up this nutritious breakfast. Those eight vitamins always seem to come in handy. This bear has been battling breakfast bad guys for two generations. Granny Goodwitch is his overriding nemesis, but Sugar Bear has many an enemy, but no one who can actually beat him. I got super sugar crisp and Sugar Bear can't have any. Is it yummy? Right. Yummy for your tummy? Right. Thanks, Sugar Fox, for a good breakfast featuring Super Sugar Crisp. A Sugar Bear yo-yo inside! The cereal stealers better watch out. This bear's cool, calm, and casual, and he can even make a turtleneck sweater look good. His adventures make wholesome food look heroic. Can't get enough of that Sugar Crisp, Sugar Crisp, Sugar Crisp. Bye for now. Number 7. Lucky the Leprechaun Lucky Charms. Catch that leprechaun! He's got lucky charms! They're magically delicious! Always after me lucky charms! The frosted old cereal with sweet surprises! Hearts, moons, stars, clovers! It's the cereal that first put marshmallows with milk. And Lucky is the leprechaun who made a seed that it would work. I'll show you more magic! More marshmallow power! So many! So many! <laughs> He was introduced in 1963, and as far as wake-up call weirdness goes, this mascot is among the more peculiar. Lucky has a 7 a.m. smile that's two parts adorable, one part evil. But really, he's as sweet as his cereal, and he's become a household name as well as a necessity. 
Breaking the fast is rarely this fun or this full of charm. And sugar. Frosted Lucky Charms, they're magically delicious. Number six, Toucan Sam, Fruit Loops. Cheer up, my porcupine pal. A fruitful breakfast will share right now. Follow your nose. It always knows. Ouch! I smell it. Kellogg Fruit Loop cereal. Oranges, lemons, cherries, and other natural flavors. Start with a balanced breakfast, including Kellogg's Fruit Loops. Follow your nose. At six, winging his way onto our kitchen tables is a well-spoken creature with a multicolored beak. Ah, Kellogg's Fruit Loop cereal. Real fruit flavors, orange, lemon, and cherry. Make Kellogg's Fruit Loops part of your complete breakfast. For Toucan Sam, the past 50 years have literally flown by. Since his introduction in the 1960s, he has outfought and outfeathered all manner of villains. Sorry, no time to hang. There's blue fruit to be found. Excuse me. Will Toucan Sam escape and find the blue jungleberry? He's tropical, he has remained topical, and his character is far from typical. He's enthusiastically exotic, and proof that the early bird really does catch the worm, or at least the cereal. I guess I'll have to follow my nose. Number five, the Trix rabbit, Trix. Carrots, 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 rising out of the great carrot patch. Paradise for any rabbit, except me. While many of our breakfast buddies have been trying to save their cereal from thieves, in Trix Rabbit, we have an almost anti-hero. Since 1959, the poor bunny has been trying to steal Trix cereal, but rarely ever succeeds. Silly rabbit, tricks are for kids. A plight so epic, it's even been compared to the ancient Greek myth of Sisyphus. Besides, you belong here. Well, I'm still close to Trix. On the few times he's tasted victory, he did so because the children had spoken. Hello? Hi, nice kid. This is the Trix rabbit. <laughs> Asking you to vote yes for me to get a bowl of delicious fruit flavor tricks. Tricks? I'm having it as part of this good, nutritious breakfast. <laughs> well, I can too if you vote yes. Voting in 1976 and 1980, an overwhelming majority said, "Let the rabbit eat tricks." But does he get the tricks? The kids voted yes. Just this one. The rabbit wins the tricks. The fruity, delicious part of a complete breakfast. <laughs> wow! Lemony yellow, orangey orange. Grapey purple, raspberry red, and flying green. Oh, for me! I'll never be the same. Number four, Captain Horatio Magellan Crunch, Captain Crunch. Ooh, peanut butter crunch! The peanut butter crunch bird laid another egg, Captain. A magical egg filled with my peanut butter crunch cereal. This seafarer is a staple component of supermarket shelves. It's Captain Crunch, the cereal named after me. Captain Crunch, delightfully sweet, sugar sweet, and fun to munch because it keeps its crunch. So crisp, it never uncrunches, not even in milk. Since his introduction in 1963, his backstory has never been entirely clarified. But some say he's French because of his Napoleonic getup, while others see him as all-out American. Wherever he's from, he has clearly led a good life. The enthusiasm in his eyes is almost unnerving. But if the captain can make us feel half as awake as he appears to be, then we'll keep crunching his cereal for years to come. Captain Crunch cereal, a yummy part of a good breakfast. Number three, Snap, Crackle, and Pop, Rice Krispies. It's fun to put Snap, Crackle, Pop into your morning. Hail, good fellows. You've got it. I think you'll be a star. Like a pop star. At third place, three is far from a crowd for these little guys. Snap, Crackle, and Pop take their place on our podium full of breakfast bravado and onomatopoeic awesomeness. Snap, it's the snappiest sound to do. You gotta get cracking when Crackle comes through. But there's no stopping once Pop is popping. Snap, Crackle, Pop talking just to you. Elf-like creatures, their features are cereal royalty, named after the sound that Rice Krispies make when combined with milk. At over 80 years old, they were first conceived before the Second World War. The last food bowl. They're a true Kellogg's classic, and they've aged exceptionally well. Snap, it's crackle, what a happy sound. You gotta have a crackle, the sound not bound. You begin to snap, pop, and the cereal snap, and snap, crackle, pop, makes the world go round. Number two, Busby. Honey Nut Cheerios. It's time you were tempted with the taste of nuts and honey. Hulk Hogan doesn't eat nuts and honey. Did you take this? 
With many mascots, it can be difficult to find a link between them and the actual product that they endorse. But not with our runner-up. You want honey? You got it. Busby appropriately advertises Honey Nut Cheerios, the United States best-selling cereal. He was nameless until 2000, when a student won the chance to title him. And he has since punned his way to hosting the Honey Nut Cheerios Spelling Bee board game. In another unrelated play on words, the character was originally voiced by comic actor Arnold Stang. You bet Honey Nut Cheerios blends crunchy nuts and tasty golden honey. Seriously, we can't make this stuff up. It's a honey of a gnome. It's Honey Nut Cheerios. Nice and crunchy. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. <laughs> Watch out because I'm... It happens all the time. Give me a smack, and I'll smack you back. Come on, sugar, smack. You will take them. I got an identity crisis. I'm a nutritious cereal made with 100% whole wheat. And? And here I am with a tasty little frosting. So? So, am I nutritious or what? Get your crowing in the morning like Kellogg's Corn Flakes. How about some wonderful Frankenberry cereal with oodles and oodles of strawberry-flavored marshmallows. And Frankenberry is part of this good, nutritious breakfast. Here comes Dal Jocula. Wish you could stay. Number one, Tony the Tiger, Frosted Flakes. <laughs> Roaring to the top of our tree and into early morning bellies, Tony's a tiger and an iconic commercial character. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day, and Tony really makes you believe it. What you need is a complete breakfast, including my vitamin-packed Frosted Flakes. They bring out the tiger in you. He's an advocate of sport, an encourager of activity, and a reminder that nutrition is necessary. There's a breakfast for you. Crisp golden flakes of corn toasted clear through with Mr. Kellogg's secret sugar frosting. All you need is milk or cream because Kellogg's sugar frosted flakes are ready sugared, ready to eat. Aren't you going to tell him about the energy? Created in 1951, he fought off Katie the Kangaroo, Elmo the Elephant, and Newt the New to become the face of frosted flakes. <laughs> The secret! As I was saying... Since then, there has been but one adjective to describe him and his cereal. They're great! Do you agree with our list? Which breakfast cereal mascot did we skip? Hang on to your hats, cause we're ready to blast off on a tumble-toasted trip through space. For more Top of the Morning Top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. He is looking at you, kids! <laughs>